Outside of YouTube, Instagram is probably the platform that I use the most to directly engage with my audience. But as you know, you can only have one link in your Instagram bio, which makes it super hard to direct people to multiple things without driving yourself crazy, constantly having to update your link. For years, I've been using a tool called Linktree, which basically creates a dashboard where you can add as many links as you want. A cool feature for us YouTube creators is that you can actually embed YouTube videos directly into or onto your link tree. I think this provides a better experience for the viewer because it's not intrusive and they don't have to leave the Instagram platform or it feels like they're not leaving the Instagram platform. And of course, if they want to actually watch your video on YouTube, they can always tap the video and open up that app. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use Linktree to add multiple links to your Instagram bio and how to embed videos onto your Linktree. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is go to Linktree's website, which is L-I-N-K-T-R dot e, e which I know is an uncommon URL, but I promise it's legit. Or you can just type in Linktree into your search engine and then get to the website. Now, there is a free version and a pro version of Linktree, but honestly, I've only used the free version. I think that's all you're gonna need. One thing that I do wanna point out is that when you create an account, you have to create a username and your username is the customized part of the Linktree URL. So for me, it's Linktree slash Heather just create because that is my Linktree username and you can't change this once you create the account. So just keep that in mind when you're creating an account that that is how you get your customized URL. Got it? So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is probably change the appearance of what your Linktree looks like. So let's head on over to the appearance tab and here you can add a title, uh, or a bio. I don't bother with this since the only place that I have this Linktree link is in my Instagram bio, which already has a bio. Uh, but if you're putting this you know, URL everywhere, then maybe you want to include that here. Then you could pick a theme. I just got the purple going. Uh, and here's one of those things that you can get with Pro, like you get more customized with the appearance and stuff like that. Now let's head on over to creating our links. So creating a link in Linktree is so easy. All you have to do is literally click add new link. Here is where you're going to put the URL. So I'm going to put uh, Tom's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Tom Buck. And then we're going to give it a title. Let's see, watch Tom's videos on YouTube or something like that. I definitely encourage you to frame your titles with a call to action. So like watch or download or join or visit or something like that. Um, and then this is the button that turns it off and on. So if I turn it on, you'll see it now go to the top. And basically this is a preview of what the link tree will actually look like. So you can drag by clicking on these three dots to reposition the links. So you'll see that it this new link just moved down here or we can move it back up here. You can also add a picture to go with your link. So that's what I've done here. I just clicked uh, this and now there's a thumbnail that goes with that. I just don't do that in every single one. Um, you can also add a little icon. Uh, they have some icons that come with it. So like if you click on change, here's 750 plus icons that you can choose from. And it's not a pro feature, it's a free feature. So that's really cool. Down here, you can see some of the old links that I just don't use anymore. Here's a video where I proposed to Tom, so I don't have that on my link tree feed anymore. But if I did want to turn it on, I would just flip that switch and boom, you would see it here towards the bottom. And there's no like save or anything. It just automatically updates. And all you have to do is copy this link right here. Oops, this link right here. That's what you put in your link in bio. So if I head on over to Instagram.com, you'll see that on my profile, I've got my link tree link right here, which is exactly this link right here. Even on the free plan, you can have an unlimited number of links, but I would only recommend having like five or six. Too many options can be overwhelming and we really wanna be intentional with where we're directing our audience. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is how to embed a YouTube video. So basically, when you click on a YouTube link, so here is this one, we have big news, a couple table episode 39. That's this link right here. This is a YouTube video. You can see the URL right here. So if you click it, it'll automatically just start playing the video embedded in Linktree. So that's because you click this button right here and you've got some video options. You can link off to the YouTube website. So if you click this, when you click on this, it opens up in YouTube. 
which is cool. Or you can just embed the video into Linktree so that when they click it, it <laughs> plays directly in here. One thing I wanna note is that you can totally build a menu of links or a tree of links like this pretty easily in whatever website designer thing that you use. So for me, I use Squarespace and to create something that virtually looks exactly like this is relatively easy. That's actually what I'm gonna show you in my next video, but full transparency, even though I'm gonna show you how to do that, I'm still just a big fan of Linktree. Like I still use Linktree. I don't know why it's just easier to me and maybe it's just because it's what I'm used to. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.